Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Today we're going to go through the steps on how to mine Ravencoin with T-Rex Miner. We currently have a 1080 Ti that we are able to mine Ravencoin with. Let's take a look at the profitability of mining Ravencoin on a 1080 Ti. If we select the 1080 Ti, Ravencoin should be mining at about 21.5 mega hash at 200 watts. 20 cents USD as our electricity cost. Let's select calculate. And Ravencoin is on top of the list. So with the 1080 Ti, we are mining Ravencoin at $7.24 a day. And we're mining about 18 to 19 Ravencoins per day. First, we need a wallet address. And I'm currently using Exodus Wallet because it allows me to save Ravencoin in that specific program. I've got my address. Then we need to choose a pool. So the second one, which is 2miners.com, we're going to select that. You can select any of these, but I'm going to go for the second one. Now that we've got our address, we need some software to mine Ravencoin. And we're going to select T-Rex. The current version is 0.19.11. I will leave the link in the description below for easy access. We're going to download CUDA.11.1. Let's download that file. And let's unzip it to its own folder. Right click on the file, extract to T-Rex and open the folder. So we currently got three bat files for Ravencoin. Three different pools, two miner, Raven miner, and Huli Puli. We're going to select two miners.bat, right click on it, click on edit, and we need to add we need to add our wallet address to this file. Okay, I've currently got mine in a Word document. Let's copy that. Replace the current Ravencoin address and give our rig a name. Let's go with 1080Ti so that we know which PC is mining Ravencoin. Here all we do is make sure we save this file. We're first going to see what our 1080Ti mines at at stock settings. So 100% power limit, 0 on the core, 0 on the memory and see what our stock settings does before we optimize overclock and undervolt this card. Double click on the file. It takes a while while it's generating the DAG file. Let's see what hash rates and our power consumption is once it generates. So as we can see, the 1080 Ti generates about 22, almost 23 mega hash at 220 watts. The efficiency is at 107 kilo hash per watt. And the temperature of the card is at 67 degrees. Let's go back to what to mine to see what the default settings are. So we're getting 21.5 at 200 watts. 21.5 mega hash, you're earning about $7.24. Let's see what overclocking settings they have for the 1080 Ti. You're using plus 125 on the core, 500 on the memory, and the power limit is set to 75%. So we're definitely getting about 22.39, just over 22. So they're more or less correct if it's 21.6. What to mine is at... 21.5 at 200 watts, so they're more or less on par, except for the power consumption. But we still need to optimize our graphics card. So with our graphics card, we're actually going to stop the miner. We're going to drop it down to 75. Let's run our bat file again and see what we get. 238 watts is quite a bit. So hopefully we can get it under 200 watts. It's already found a share. Let's see what our hash rate is and our power consumption and the efficiency of the card. We were on 107 kilo hash per watt. Hopefully we can increase that by 
quite a bit. So at the moment, off the bat, we're getting 23.68 megahash per second and 189 watts, and our efficiency is at 135 kilohash per watt. Ravencoin is a very core dependent algorithm to mine. We're trying to keep a balance between power consumption and our hash rate. Let's leave it to mine for about five minutes and see what our hash rate is. So we're getting 23.7 and 188 watts. Let's calculate and see what we're going to be earning on a daily basis. So with those settings, we're getting $7.90 before electricity and $7 after. We're earning about 19 to 21 coins per day. Let's just take a look at our price per coin is uh, 23 cents. Yesterday, the coin was almost at 27 cents. It's been about five minutes since we've been running and we've only found one share on this specific pool. But as you can see, mining Ravencoin with the 1080 Ti is very profitable. If we look at what to mine, you're looking at almost two and a half dollars below. So mining Ravencoin currently with the Nvidia cards is a lot more profitable than mining Ethereum. Where is Ethereum Classic? Ethereum Classic is way down at $1.79. To monitor the miner on the pool, all we do is click on tominer.com, type in your Ravencoin address in miner address and click on search and it brings up the stats of your miner. So it gives you your unconfirmed balance, your current and average hash rate, how many workers you have, and, and what percentage you get once a block is found. That brings me to the end of the video. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.